Mr. Kirby is recognized as part of our ongoing recognition of Black History Month. Mr. Kirby. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Ms. Hennigan, for allowing me a brief op opportunity to present a House resolution memorializing the events of this date, February 22nd, that occurred 124 years ago today in the city of Lake City. Congressman Clyburn announced in early January 2019, and our post office was renamed the Frazier B. Baker Post Office, creating a legacy of tribute for this brave American hero. This recognition, enacted as federal law, acknowledges and pays tribute to the sacrifices of Frazier Baker and so many others who stood against injustice and intolerance. Frazier B. Baker was the first African American appointed to serve as postmaster at the Lake City Post Office in 1897. Baker and his family were tormented for the refusal to give up his position. After the Lake City Post Office was burned to the ground by those who opposed his appointment, Postmaster Baker moved the operations of the post office into his home on the outskirts of Lake City, where on February 22nd, 1898, he and his infant daughter were shot and they were killed by a white mob and his wife and five children escaped. I placed on the desk, or the clerk has at our request, a copy of this House resolution in the hope that you'll take an opportunity to read the history. This resolution details that brutal event. And in the city of Lake City, in the city of Lake City, we honor this event on an annual basis on February 22nd. As we are sitting here today, our mayor and a number of citizens are at the site memorializing this event. You may ask why? Because we believe that we have to recognize issues even as horrific as this, in order to maintain and gain a more perfect union. So the question becomes, how do we respond? How do we respond to these type of events that we see? You know, racism continues to uphold its ugly head, even in our state, even in recent times. So, it, I leave you with this thought, and I thank all my colleagues for standing with me in this presentation, but I leave you with this thought. In the words of George Santayana, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Ms. Hennigan, for allowing me this brief honor to recognize Postmaster Fraser B. Baker, Postmaster Lake City, South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kirby.